Hey everyone, Dan Scott here, and in my other video where I'm making liposomal supplements, somebody left a comment turning me on to this website, qualityliposomalc.com. So the procedure here is the making of this, okay? Concentrated version of liposomal vitamin C, which gives you a thousand milligrams of C per five milliliters which is in this pack. They say 5.7 milliliters, but I sucked every last bit out and it came right to five. So what we're going to do per the instructions here is make this, okay? A thousand milligrams per five milliliter concentrated encapsulated liposomal, which this is just a brand name. So liposomal, same thing. And you read the notice, okay? Or if you try to look for this online, there's a few sellers, but it's 40 bucks before shipping, okay? And knowing how to make it, by the way, without the use of a sonic cleaner or with, okay, for even more liposomes is quite valuable. So let's get to it. Let's get to the kitchen and make some. Now, I'm going to use ethyl alcohol where I'm halving the ratios of his recipe, where we'll start with the water, which is about 239 grams. We're next the ethyl alcohol at about 57-ish grams. And then 81 grams of C. So here I'm going to use the sonic cleaner to dissolve the vitamin C, keeping my eye on the temperature, not to exceed 95 degrees Fahrenheit or between 32 to 35 Celsius. So this is around one where it's about 950. I'll time about how long it takes to dissolve. Oh yeah, where by the way, this cardboard apparatus is to keep the glass off of the bottom of the sonic cleaner. And this was the first run. Check the temp. 69, we're good. Let's keep it going. Round two. And while that's dissolving, I'm going to weigh about 98-ish grams of sunflower lecithin while making a hot mess. Mission accomplished. So let's go check our solution. Temperature looks good. Three. All right, so round three is wrapping up. Give it a little stir. Four. Okay, so round four is wrapping up. Give it another stir. Temp is on point. Round five. Okay, round five, almost finished, but not yet dissolved. Or by the way, you don't need a sonic cleaner to dissolve the solution. Round six, keep an eye on the temp. Okay, I think it's almost finished. All right, you know what? I think it's finished. I think that cloudiness might be the alcohol. There's nothing floating around in there. It looks dissolved. And it took about 45 minutes, so step two is to add the lecithin where I know he adds the lecithin to the water alcohol mix. But I'm gonna be backwards today and I'm gonna add the mixture to the lecithin already in the blender. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it a few shots here and then mix it to make sure there's no clumps stuck at the bottom. So if you're backwards like me and you add the liquid to the lecithin, you might want to just scrape it down a little bit. It's going to eventually dissolve. We're going to do this about five to six times. You know, before I let it go four minutes, I better check the temp. 
make sure that our temp is good. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to refrigerate this before I start the blending, cooling, blending, cooling process. It's been in the fridge for about an hour, so let's see how much it's cooled down. Sixty-seven degrees, sixty-six degrees. Now these Vitamixes will cook soup, so I gotta really watch it. I don't know if I'm gonna let it go the whole four minutes before checking it. So let's go ahead and give it a whirl for a minute or so and check the temp again. Where, by the way, we are making liposomes in the blender. Been a minute. Let's see how hot that bugger got. Goodness gracious. One minute of blending, it's already up to temperature. Back to the refrigerator. Okay, so it is the next day in the AM, and this will be the final blending, and I'll lick the lid later. And you see here, this is the consistency when it's cool. It's a little bit thicker, and what we're going to do now is we're going to debubble or degas this to get all these bubbles out. And again, as you're blending this, always keep a careful eye on the temperature, not to exceed 32 to 35 Celsius. I think that's good enough. And by the way, if you don't have a thermometer, just go by feel. Lukewarm is always safe. Now transfer it to a clean glass beaker for the next process where we're going to put it in the sauna cleaner to remove the bubbles where we have made effective liposomal vitamin C, but now we can make more liposomes with the Sonic Cleaner, where already we've made lots of them. And as for these bubbles, when they come up to the top and look like this, you could just scrape the rest of them off and consume it as a dose of liposomal vitamin C. And that's what I did. I just scraped those bubbles into this glass. I'm gonna add some water and just drink it. I've zeroed out my scale. We'll see how much this weighs now. This is pretty much the final product where we're going to continue making more liposomes by running it through the Sonic Cleaner. You see almost 400 milliliters. So 400 grams, 400 milliliters. Where according to these calculations, we just made 80 1,000 milligram servings of liposomal vitamin C, where this is 1,000. This is much lighter of a version, easier to take, less concentrated, quicker. This took me two days. This takes me a few hours. So the point is, is make it, get it in you, whether it's powder or a liposomal form. If you need more concentrated for more serious conditions, then this is how you can do it. Your health.